Here we go. All right, today we're going to be talking about Facebook ad examples. Oh, man. It's going to be a special one. And of course, I've got my friend and business partner here, Blake Petska. What's up, buddy? <laughs> you got that, right? Got it. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. And of course, I'm Tristan. Thanks for joining us. Uh, let's get started, man. What do you got for us? Okay, so I'm so I'm super excited for this one, right? So we're gonna be just kind of diving into some different examples for Facebook ads we could be running. Um, and we had our last webinar on this, but you know, for those that you know, are kind of just tuning in recently, right? Inside a Command is one of the most amazing lead generation platforms out there, right? We're giving agents the ability to run sponsored Facebook posts and generate leads for an average of like two dollars a lead, which is just absolutely crazy. Uh, and you know, one of the the highlights of this, I think, is just how simple it is, right? You know, Easy. you can go through Manager. There's a lot of kind of customization there, but I think for agents that are just really trying to save time and you know make sure that you know, we're doing everything we're you know, needing to be doing to maintain a good lead generation model, uh, this kind of ad manager inside a command is absolutely amazing. So we're going to show some examples, kind of best practices, and hopefully you can kind of give some tips along the way, uh, you know, how to do this better. I love it, man. Let's get started. Cool. So I'm going to hop into command and we're going to cover kind of just some basics, right? Of like what we need to do before we get this set up. Ooh, that's a little preview right there. I got some, uh, I got some good materials today. I got to say. Ooh, I like that. I like when you prepare, man. Matt, oh, and a boy did I prepare today, right? Oh, wow. That's a lot. I got some stuff. All right. So, all right, so inside of command, there's a couple things that I want to look at right before I start running these ads. So just to kind of go into my settings, right, hitting that drop down, there's a few channels that I just want to make sure I have totally connected. Uh, the first, right, we're going to see one for pay Facebook post scheduling. You know, this is just going to be regular posts coming up on your business page. Uh, not totally what we're talking about today, though. So we're actually talking about paid posts. So we're going to look for the second Facebook icon down here. That's to do with ads manager. And so we just want to go and connect that, make sure we have it hooked up to our account. Uh, make sure we have a business page, you know, connected on the other end of that. Love it. Yeah, when you connect that one, it's going to say, well, what business page do you want? Mm -hmm. And if you've got more than one business page, just make sure to, to choose the right one so that it's connected to the one that you want to send out ads from. Exactly. Right. And so as long as we have that set up, we should be good to go here. Uh, fill out your marketing profile. If you haven't done that already, should be one of the, you know, the first kind of initial steps here. Uh, but when we're ready to go, we're just going to go and look on the side applets here and jump into this campaigns tab. All right, we see our dashboard here. We're going to go and dive in. Uh, we see there's actually a payment section here. And so since these are paid ads, uh, we do need to kind of hook up a credit card ahead of time. So what I'm going to do is actually just go and jump into that. And then I can just add a new payment. Just right here, add payment method and mm -hmm. get that connected. It's going to save you a lot of time in the, the long run. Well, can I borrow your MasterCard? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> Get you uh, my mother's maiden name. Oh, there you uh, go. That's name for sure. <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at kind of what this looks like. All right. So we have our channel connected, our payment method set up. So I'm going to hit create a new campaign. And then we're going to choose what type of campaign we're going to run, right? In this case, social ad paid. Lock it in. Then we just have to answer a couple questions here, starting with the campaign name, um, kind of what this is, this is just for you, and then identifying a goal. And so I think it's really good, right, to come in kind of with a game plan here to know exactly what the purpose is, who you're trying to attract, and really kind of uh, what the mission is here. Mm -hmm. So for this first one, you want to start out maybe a property. I like the one that you had sent me yesterday. Let's do something like that. Okay, let's do that. Right, so let's just say... So we're gonna. This is around a property on the Pacific Coast, mm -hmm. and we're trying to advertise a listing. I love that. Easy so far. Good, good so far, right? Not not too bad. Uh, then we're gonna choose where our campaign runs, right? So default, we're probably gonna want to go Facebook, mm -hmm. but you know, we also have the option to run ads on Instagram. And so it's not like it's connecting to your Instagram account or anything. It's actually just kind of piggybacking off of your business page 
and running them on Instagram as well. So you can choose that channel. Uh, and then if you're running ads on Twitter, we can absolutely do that there. I'm going to go and skip it this time. Just stick with Facebook and Instagram. Good choice. So we got it. We're locked in. Let's set that bad boy up. I'm ready. All right. So it's going to pull up. Uh, let's see. This is uh, the KWLS, right? So we're going to search through here to see if we can actually pull up our listing. Uh, so I'm going to go and type in Pacific Coast. And then you see actually no records found. So this is something that comes up a lot. If you have this problem, you can actually see right here on this drop down, we have show. And if we change that from only my listings to all listings, mm -hmm. we're going to have things show up here. There you go. And that's the secret because a lot of people are like, what happened to the listings? 100%. And so that's something to definitely kind of be aware of here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and find something real nice here. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, you're picking my, my neck of the woods. Thank you. Yeah. You know what? I got I got to concede here. I'm, I'm a little bit more drawn to that Matt Malibu area. <laughs> I know that this was getting a little tired. Uh, I knew it. Switching it up. Good. All right. So since we pulled in that listing, uh, by default, right, it's going to actually add in the description uh, from the property listing. Uh, and, but then it's also going to go and pull in the photos here. So we look down here to add media. It pulls in the first one by default. Uh, so if that's what we're looking for, that's amazing. Then we can actually even add in more photos here. So let's see, let me get your recommendation here, right? So if we had to choose versus you know, one photo uh, versus you know, a carousel, what would you go with? A million percent carousel, and that's directly from Facebook. Definitely, exactly. Yeah, that's what's yeah. going to work best here. So I'm 100% gonna add in more photos. Mm -hmm. And so when I click add more, it's actually just pulling up from the KWLS. So I can choose any photo that we have associated with on this property. Nice. Makes it super easy, right? One of my biggest pet peeves is like constantly downloading, uploading. So this is by far one of my favorite features of all of this. And I think this alone kind of makes it worth, you know, not going onto Facebook ad manager. Yeah. So I pull in my photo. I'm going to choose where I crop it. Save that image. And then you see, I'm going to keep kind of going do more and more here. See anything stick out? Uh, definitely not the one with the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of like I'm kind of digging the pool and the one with the with the that one with the with the outside seating area with the little seat. Maybe I was actually going to go that direction. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Let's see, where's that one? This one right here? No, up, up. Oh. To the right, that one. Cool. It's kind of cute. Same page. Oh, the resolution sucked on that one. Let's see. Yeah, no, let's back out of that. That, yeah, you, that definitely, if, if that it pops up, you don't want a picture that has terrible resolution. That's People will bad. skip your ad. Exactly. So yeah, let's choose something else here. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this wasn't the listing I came in here for. That's okay. We're gonna go with the that's car. okay. While you're doing this, I have to let everybody know this is being recorded, so you can watch it on our YouTube channel. And also, we did do an in-depth comparison between Facebook, like running an ad on Facebook without command, and on command. And I'm gonna post that YouTube video there. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel so you can actually watch it again once this is uploaded in a couple of days. Uh, there it is. So good question, Michelle. Thank you. And we're going to see if we can find a name of the YouTube video. Uh, that's the one. I just put up the link right there. So uh, anybody else who wants to watch it, we went in pretty deep on Facebook there and also on command. So that's a really fun one to watch. One more right. Did we get good pictures? Uh, no, all of the other ones were a little bit garbage here. I can't. All right, we'll just keep two. I'll keep well, the two is better than one. one. For sure. But because either way, as long as we go more than one, we're creating this really nice little carousel ad that people can actually kind of swipe through here. So by far one of my favorite ways to go. And then now we just have to kind of change up the ad a little bit. So let's change up the copy. I don't want it to be super boring here. Uh, let's see what we can do. So I like this one that you sent me, right? So it started out, it said looking for better weather. Then we'll say I like that. I pay attention to the copy because 
This copy, we spent a lot of time and money uh, seeing if it would work. We've spent over easily over a million dollars just on ads on Facebook. So yeah, I know that sounds crazy, but yeah, that's true. We have. So um, you've got to take a look at what we've done and, and what we've come up with so that you can have those results as well. So uh, while he's typing that, which is that, says good, make sure you, you copy that. There's a question that popped up and I think it's important to answer. The question was whether or not we can target people that are 18 years or older, specific ages, like saying, hey, I only want to target 25 years or older or 30 years or older. We can't do that anymore. We were able to do that a year and a half ago. And now because of the changes and the guidelines for targeting, we're not able to do that. The only thing we can do is just click that 18 or older button. And that's pretty much it on that sense. But there are other things that we can look into to change. So we go into that into our, our last video that we did, Facebook versus command. We go into that pretty well. So take a look at that video. It answers that question as well. Right now, what we're doing is we're just creating the main copy. You can see that we're adding emojis and emojis are extremely important into uh, when it comes to adding the top section here, which is the main copy. And even in the headline, in some of our headlines, we do have emojis as well. So just make sure that you are using them. Just because you don't like them or you think that they don't work, uh, just take our, take our take on this, which is use them, please. They're actually, they actually stand out and they're very good. 100%. There's a, there's a huge difference between just a bunch of plain text and then there's something that's kind of a little bit more broken up. So there's something to that for sure. Yeah, so dude. Let's go and do this and say Pacific. Palisades. Perfect. Okay, and then let's see, what else do you want to add to this headline here? Uh, Pacific Palisades. Um... Beauty? No, I just hate being generic. Uh, Pacific sure. Palisades. Uh, s stop scrolling. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Sure, I'm into it. Get there. What's and that? then put a little stop scrolling, and then put one of those surprised faces. Okay, I got you. I got you. Like what? <laughs> if we can find it, like a tongue out or yeah, something weird, different. There we go. There you go. I like that. All right. So for those of you that are asking what emojis are, it's just the little pictures that you just saw the one we just posted there. That's perfect. Okay. So then we'll go down to the description. Last thing here. Let's see. We can do. Let's see. What do you want to do? Something interesting just for this property one. I, um, I got, I got some no. up for the next. Find live live in the live in the palisades at an affordable price there we go i think that i mean you can put a little bit more but then you can't see much of it after so i would leave it around there i think that's perfect and that's actually exactly what i was kind of going for here um, and i'm, I'm going to show an example that was spot on yeah so dude, now i like i like it dude it's got a little crazy face that kind of uh, stands out right yeah. i like that a lot I'm digging it. So now that we have that configured, now it's actually down to like the actual, you know, the Facebook side of it. So I'll come down to Facebook and Instagram ads. And then we're going to go ahead and just choose which account we're going to run this on. Right. So my personal Blake Petska, and then cool. we choose which business page we want this to go on. So we're going to help out my, my guy, uh, George Morales here. So we're going to run a Facebook ad for him. George. You got lucky. <laughs> uh, he's going to be getting the leads here. So we're going to see, uh, Instagram ad or Instagram story, choosing that position. Where, where do you land on this? What's your take? You know, I'll, I'll tell you here, I would, I would probably for this one, I'd probably run an ad, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't be opposed to running a story only because there are over 700 million stories run a day mm -hmm. and stories are definitely the way to go. I would definitely, what I would do later on, not right now, I would just not run a Facebook ad. I would run one as an Instagram story and one as an Instagram ad and see which one you get better results on. Kind of A-B test it. Yeah. Uh, even though if you just, when you go off of command and you run it on Facebook, 
Facebook decides where they're going to place it for you, where depending on where you're getting the most activity from. Uh, they don't want to give you that option here because they don't want to overcomplicate it, right? So um, I would test two. Instagram ad, Instagram story for now. Let's go with ad. Perfect. Yeah, no, I like that. So then we just kind of keep going down. We'll talk about the destination. Uh, two options here, either to use a Facebook lead generation form or you know, just use a site or our landing page. Yep. Uh, 100%, right? We're trying to get as many kind of people looking for homes as possible. So I'm going to use that lead generation form. Keep it pretty standard here. I love it. So button, learn more, sign up, apply now. I'd say probably learn more applies the best for this situation here. And then all we have to do is actually just find a URL that we want to redirect them to. Right. So what they're going to do is come across your ad, they hit learn more, and then that's going to populate right their name and their phone number. So all they have to do is type in their email and hit submit. And then yep. after they do that, we're going to choose where they get sent to. So, right, because we're doing a listing, we're more than likely going to want to attach that to the listing, right? A landing page, property specific website, uh, or if that's okay with you, what I want to do here is actually link them off to like the search uh, site, right? Get them kind of in our own ecosystem, push them to our consumer app ultimately. Agree. From there. 100%, dude. Let's do it then. So I'm actually just going to pop open a new tab and then go to my website at blakepetska.kw.com, right? Okay. So blakepetska.kw.com. So I'm going to go and search for this house. In your website, right? Exactly, yeah. So I'm going to come over here to Malibu. That looks like Seal Beach. That is Seal Beach. Not the right place, what we're going for here. Too far down the coast. There you go. <sighs> you want the Palisades? You're, you're close. There, there you are, right there. Right around this area, right? Yep. Perfect. So I can just go and choose one of these, and it's going to actually kind of link them to this section after they go, right? So we yep. can select the listing specifically. But what I actually kind of like is keeping it a little bit more broad here. And so yes. these parameters, this is where they're actually going to be looking. So since we kind of kept it a little bit more broad, right, it is re revolving around a listing, but we said a lot about Pacific Palisades. So I might actually kind of want to go that route with it. Yep. Let's see, we just kind of keep it in that area. Agreed. All right, so I'll go ahead and just copy this link now. And then I can do this for anything, right? So either you know, a filter, you know, whether we're going based on price, or if I'm just clicking on a listing and then taking this link itself, I'm gonna choose where I'm trying to direct them to. And then just over on the campaign, I'm gonna go and post it, paste that in. All yep. right. And so then if we don't wanna go that route, we can actually just choose a landing page here and then point them either to our agent website, just the homepage, right? Or a landing page that we may have set up ahead of time, right? So either our search website, or if we take the time to you know, create a landing page, uh, we can go that route as well. Agreed. Now, for those of you wondering where you get this, we did a whole webinar on making sure that you have your website set up, you have the landing pages. So go to the link for the YouTube page. And if you're wondering where to do it, cause it, it was like an hour and then we did two different sessions. So it was like two hours on that. Exactly. Um, but it's your website if you're wondering. And if you don't use a command website, you can always put your own website in there. Just make sure that it doesn't request them to register again, because it's already capturing their information here through the lead ad. You don't want it to request it a second time. You'll just push them away. That's exactly it, right? And so that's where we're choosing where to capture their information with this option right here. And so we either capture that information right away or we push them to a site where we want them to register you know, separately. But this yep. is going to be the best way to go for what we're doing right now. Right on. Got it, man. All right. So once we have that redirect kind of nailed down, it's you know, kind of suitable with the rest of the ad. I'm going to come down and do my ad targeting. So you know, naturally, right, I want to do these custom settings here. Now, the beauty of this, right, it's really simplified. So everything that we do here is going to be inside of the, the housing requirements. Yep. Right? We're going to get flagged. And mm -hmm. so we just have to go with those guidelines. So I'll search for, you know, my location. It picked it up. 
looking for Pacific Palisades. And we're going to take that radius down as low as it'll go to 15 miles. Perfect. All right. And then we're going to just, we have our location. We're going to go ahead and go for those interests now. So add or change, right? We can look through this entire list of interests to see what might match up. Yep. Uh, but there's definitely just like some best practices that we could use every time, right? Specifically looking for people that are already searching for homes. So I would type in things like Zillow. Yep. All right. You know, maybe we go... Yeah, homes.com. Boom. All right, I'm going to delete that out. There's ones that are like you know, house hunting. Type in house. Boom. Then we can kind of, from there, kind of go into some other strategies, uh, a little bit more specific for what we're doing. Um, you know, I know that they have some for, you know, luxury vehicle, luxury property. Yeah. Which, you know, we're dealing with a little bit more competitive market. Maybe we're looking for a different type of clientele. What kind of uh, interest would you recommend using? I think we're good right now. I think one thing that, that we take for granted when we're creating these ads mm -hmm. is that Facebook's algorithm is so on point that you only really need to put, I mean, I would, and I normally do this, I just put Zillow, that's it. Nice. And I let Facebook do the rest because as people start engaging with it, mm -hmm. it's really important the first day as people start engaging with it, Facebook says, got it. I know now based on the hundred people that just engaged with this, who to target, because I'm going to look to find other hundred people that are similar. So I'm letting Facebook do its algorithm thing. And, you know, it touches on over 10,000 points. Boom, done. Now I start getting leads. I think so. Um, exactly. I would just start off with Zillow and see how it goes. And then slowly maybe add one or two more, not more than that. I like that. Yeah really what I'm trying to do here is just keep it as simple as possible. You know, yeah. I definitely don't want, you know, a laundry list of you know, targeting. So for sure. I like that. All right. Then we'll come down and we can do this duration and budget. That's the last little piece of this, right? By default, it's going to be you know, 10 days for $30. So we can kind of switch this up here. We can make this a shorter campaign or, you know, make this kind of more of a long-term play. Um, I think uh, 10 days is going to be okay here. But what, what I want to do is maybe kind of up my daily per channel. Uh, so I'm going to go, let's see, let's up this budget to maybe $50. Yeah, I would, yeah, let's do $50. And then I'll touch on a couple of things too, right when you're done there. Definitely. And so something really cool here is since we chose both Facebook and Instagram, we have this little checkbox here where we can actually choose where it's distributed. So we can go, you know, equal half and half. Boom. Uh, personally, I don't know. I want to see a little bit more money going to Facebook, I think. So I think what I'm going to do is decrease this a little bit. Maybe just 20 and then we'll up this to 40. All right. So $60 budget. You know, if we bring this down to seven days, we're going to see a lot better daily kind of use here. Um, and since this one's just kind of a, a one off that we're doing, that's, that's perfect. A couple notes to make there. Yeah. All right. Let's go back up to the money. I'll show you something good here. And this is from Facebook, obviously, because we get to talk to them weekly. Mm -hmm. uh, so when it comes to the total campaign budget, let's say we leave it at, you left it at 60, right? That's a 60. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Let's say we're at 60 bucks. What I would do here is I would definitely take a look at using automatic placement for Facebook and Instagram only because you're letting, again, you're letting their algorithm decide where all the leads are coming from, right? If for any reason your Pacific Palisades one said, well, you know, a lot more people are coming from Instagram. So we're going to start shifting the majority of the money there. That's number one. The other one is your daily budget. And here's where it gets a little sensitive. The way that Facebook works when you're, when you're creating an ad, for the daily budget is it's kind of like an auction. And let's say you and I, Blake, are auctioning off similar ads and we probably are with command and all right. So, you know, we're auctioning off similar ads and now ours are being shown to the same people. Well, what happens if everything is equivalent and nothing else changes, like no more people are clicking on mine than yours for any reason, uh, then what happens is they go to see how much more money I'm spending in a day. And then they'll put mine above yours. So 
the average, let's say we're spending five, the average is 10 bucks a day. So now what I normally do is I go to 20 so I can beat out everybody else. So my ad can show up over yours. And I mean, some people can afford to do that. Others can't. So it's just where you're at, but I'm just explaining to you how Facebook works on the back end. You have like a real strategy kind of going into it. Yeah. I think that's, that's really the best way that you can go about this is you know, kind of going all in. Is this being a, a really solid form of your business? You know, not something that we do casually. So I like yeah, that. that's true, man. Somebody asked a good question and sure. I'm not sure I know the answer hundred percent here. So I'm going to go to you on it. Uh, Marissa Chang saying, what if a buyer seller's guide, what if, you know, we have a buyer seller's guide and we want to put it in uh, as a Facebook lead generation tool. Can people download it directly from here or do they have to have a landing page to download it from? What's the situation? Because I know how it works on Facebook, but not on command. Yeah, so on, on, unfortunately on command, there's no easy button for that. Um, that. I know on Facebook, we can just download directly. Yep. For Facebook or for command, we're just getting that information. So unless you can somehow embed it into a landing page, our best bet would just be to manually send it to them. Or what we could do is incorporate a smart plan, right? Have that be one of the touches where we're sending them that link. And then that just kind of goes and triggers with every lead generated. So a little bit of a, uh, a different route there, but it could be possible. Yeah, you got it. I would, if you want to use command to do that, mm -hmm. I would, I would probably have a landing page where they go to where yeah. they can download it from. Right. And if you don't want to run it that way, then I think we go over it in the video where we went over Facebook versus command. Mm -hmm. So people can see really what the capabilities are of both. Um, I think that for certain situations, running ads on Facebook manager might be the, the best option, but you know, for, I think consistent, you know, just re repetitive ads that you're running you know, all the time. I think mm -hmm. command's a great option just because of how I agree. The simplicity of it is insanely awesome, dude. Definitely. I, I think there's a huge benefit of like staying inside of command the whole time. What do, what do you got here? I love it. Well, I wanted to show, cause I had a couple of questions as to how important the text is. Yeah. Right. Well, obviously this is for a Facebook or, or Instagram ad, even LinkedIn, uh, but this is what you're going to read first. Right. And, and that's also what you're going to see Ooh. first. This is why pictures are so important. Right. And then you're wondering, well, how important is the text? underneath that's how important it is then you're going to read that next then that one and then finally the one on the top and that's typically typically okay you may be weird and you may not do it that way but the typical person does it this way and so this is why it's important to write right here what it's about and how to capture their information you notice that right here blake Right here. This is why Facebook puts the little button here that says learn more exactly. right? or download this. This is why it's here. It's not up here. It's not over here. It's right there. That's like the, it's the exact layout of like a Facebook ad essentially. That's amazing. Yeah. So just wanted to show that so people understand that psychologically. I love that. And there, there is a lot of uh, kind of little nuance that it's like on the marketing side. I love that. Crazy, right? Yeah. All right, dude. What's next? Some more yeah. ads? Let's do it. Yeah. So I'm, we save that. Let's just go and publish it. Let's lock it in. Oh, that guy's lucky. Yeah, for sure. George, you're lucky. I'm going to cheap out just a little bit. We're just going to, so I'm going to run another one. So let's go $40 distribute evenly. I like that. The, the automatic placement. Yeah. 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 Let's do that. Publish that campaign going with my credit card. Go. It's going to spin for a little bit, let it do its thing, but we're going to be all good. Uh, and then on that note, I kind of want to share this that I have, right? So this Google Drive folder that I've shared out in previous weeks, a lot of good resources for just random command materials. Uh, the new one this week that I'm super proud of is going to be just this ad examples. Uh, just a lot of, you know, compiled of, you know, Dude. ads, right? Check it out. I think Woo. 17, 18 examples. That's super sexy. And so we go in deeper than just, you know, advertising listings, you know, something a little bit different. You know, find out what your home is worth in today's market. You're talking about home valuations. You're talking about Keller Mortgage on this one. You know, buying a home, like saving money, save thousands with Keller Mortgage in the zero plus loan. I actually kind of want to make one like this if you're okay with that. Let's do it right now. Not, yeah, that's perfect. Because here are all the examples I have, you know, targeting you know, investors, using video. 
see, these are the ones that, there we go, got those in there. A lot of examples. And so you can go take a look at this, kind of dive in. And then even on this one, just some three examples of you know, good versus bad, you know, little things that you could change to make your ads a little bit better. Uh, and then even just included some targeting. Uh, obviously not to use all of them here, right? But you know, choose what's going to be appropriate. Uh, in my mind, right, we're seeing like, if we're targeting somebody that's, you know, why rent when you can own? For that, we're going to be targeting like renter's insurance, you know, first time home buyer grants versus you know, doing a commercial property. Maybe we're targeting real estate investors, uh, you know, real estate entrepreneurs, wealth management. So Dude, different markets for different ads. This is good. Is this free for everybody? Free, totally free. I love it, dude. <laughs> so, so go take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the chat real quick here. Uh, B, but it's bit.ly slash command stuff. That's where you can always find this. Nice, man. Links in the chat now. Oh, hey, that was all panelists. There we go. I'm going to send it to everybody. Perfect. I'm going to copy that and put it onto Facebook. Very cool. Go take a look there. All right. So do you want to jump into uh, the next ad example using Keller Mortgage? Because I think- Let's do it. And then after that, let's answer some questions. Cool. All right. So let's go and get this set up. Uh, a couple things that I want for this ad, right? We're going to think about our little assembly line of you know, Facebook ads. So I want to make sure that I have you know, a design, you know, some sort of graphic that I could use, and then a landing page. And so I can actually just kind of use these tools inside of KW Command to take care of that. So you know, inside of my design templates, let's say you know, we can create a new one. So we hit that button, go to social, hit next, and see what we got. We're going to get redirected to the templates here. Cool. Boom, boom. We have some really kind of uh, ones that are ready to go. Not a whole lot of customization needed. So I'll look under buyer and Keller mortgage. And we yeah. actually have some that kind of stand out here. Uh, I like this one, you know, your dream home is waiting. So all we have to do is hit use on that. You know, we can make some customizations if we want, change different things up. But you know, if we like it, all we have to do is hit save. And we're actually able to access this later. And so that would be my first step. If we're creating an ad, you know, think about what your plan is come into designs and create something that you want to use. Easy. So I'm going to hit save on that. Good to go. And then I'll hit done. Boom, boom. All right. So then let's see what we got. I would want to do a landing page you know, specifically regarding Keller mortgage. Okay. I could do something around, you know, uh, even just a video, something as simple as that. So you probably lost a couple people there. Can you? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Let's go it, to create a landing page really quick. Is it worth going through real quick? Yeah, I think so. Like, let's do like a, a two minute, two okay. minute version. Exactly. So I'm going to go and just open up the side here. Look at all these apps along the side. And then I'm going to go to the consumer tab. One at the very bottom there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to click on that top right corner button to create a new site you know, as a standalone page and go and hit create on that. And so now, you know, we have our blank template here. And so we're, what we're going to do is just drag over these widgets uh, to kind of have the layout that we're going for. So I kind of have like my recipe for this, what I do every time. So I'm going to use that branded header just right there at the top. Got all my information there. And then, you know, what's actually the bulk of this, I want to use this video. So I'll just take this video widget, drag it over, have this on the page. Some of you may be like going, whoa, whoa, what the hell's happening right now? Don't <laughs> worry about it. We did this before. I just put the link up again to the YouTube video. For sure. And I really kind of the concept here is this is the destination URL, right? This is where we're kind of sending people, you know, after the fact. So the, whatever I, I do, whatever the content is, we're just looking for something to kind of push traffic towards. Yep. And so I'm going to configure the settings or configure my widgets, right? I don't know if we saw that there. Bottom right hand corner. And once we have everything lined out, we're going to configure these widgets. And then we see this video, we're just going to come in here and we're going to actually just post our video URL. So this could be something where you know, we oh, go, we can even just go to YouTube, right? Yeah. YouTube.com. And I'm going to search for Keller Mortgage. And we have oh. really good you know, official videos that have been put out. <laughs> Malcolm, Malcolm Lawson's video pops up. <laughs> What do you got? Malcolm Lawson, just so you know, makes $100,000 a year just from YouTube, okay? Really? Yeah. 
Oh, he's got that AdSense figured out. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. That guy makes a ton of money from, from just from YouTube videos. But anyway, that's, that. that's so cool. Uh, yeah. So we're, we're going to kind of do this where we come to this video. It's put out by Keller Mortgage, just talking about the zero plus loan. So I'm going to just go and copy this link from the URL bar up here. Right click to copy. And I'm going to go back over to my landing page and then just paste that in. So now we're going to see that so good. Lights here. And we can change out our headline. What is zero plus? And we can have a description here as well. You know, Dude. Let's, let's say zero lender fees, zero origination fees. And then thousand dollar credit. Wow. Using like that Keller Mortgage tools, kind of you know, taking our value proposition, translating it into an app here. So that's so I have my page right. We're gonna configure this last widget here, branded header, and we see we have green check marks all the way up besides this one. So I'm gonna say you know, save thousands. Save and apply. And then all I'm looking to do is just publish this page. So then once I have it published, ready, I have a live link now that I can now follow that has this video on it. And so this is now gonna be my redirect link that I have. Brilliant. You like it? I love it, dude. You just use somebody else's work to make you look better. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 100%. That's way to do it. That's, that's what we're trying to do here. Plagiarism yep. is encouraged. Uh, thousand percent all right, so we have our pieces hopefully you follow that so now we actually just have to kind of pull it all together and put it in a campaign so we, we showed you how to do it so let's run through it now go to our campaigns tab create a new campaign social ad paid we're gonna name this one our Keller mortgage the goal of it right it's going to be you know, brand awareness other whatever we're trying to do here maybe attract buyers uh, yeah, probably well, attract buyers. That's what probably good. Do. Yeah, and, and the goal, this really doesn't matter on you know, the performance of the ad. This is just kind of for us, back end, you know, analytics tracking. Yep. So you're going to be good either way. All right, and then we'll choose where to make this one run on Facebook. And we're, we're going to set up that campaign just like we did before, right? This time, no listing to attach. It's just going to be, you know, our photo. So let's just do the ad text here. What I liked about this one, so we're going to say buying a not in all caps, we're gonna say buying a home, question mark, question mark. I'm gonna say like saving money. Like saving money. <laughs> like getting paid? Right. <laughs> Save thousands with <laughs> <public> mortgage. <laughs> Keller mortgage and the zero plus loan. I have my laptop propped up on like two books so that the, the camera could be higher and it's making it really hard to type. Oh, dude, I wouldn't even know. You're going smooth on our end. Cool. So we'll keep going. I think that's a good copy. And so for the headline, we're going to do this save, all caps, thousands. Put some dollar signs here. We could do an emoji, little money bag uh, on your dream home. And then for my uh, description, I'm gonna do a little call to action here. Just say, find out more about the zero plus loan program. Money. All right, so save ad text. And so now we have that kind of good to go. So the last piece, just bring in the media. I'm gonna hit configure. All right, so images or video, I'm gonna stick with images. And I select the media for, for this campaign. All right, so since there's no listing, we actually have to come over here to actually add in our own. And this is my favorite part, all right? So we can absolutely upload images from our computer, mm -hmm. but one of the biggest benefits of command is we can just go right from our design library. So no downloading, no uploading. We just come in here and choose that Keller mortgage that we want to run. Boom. So there's our, our graphic that we just put together inside of designs. Boom, we're going to crop it. We don't want it to be wide, right? We want it to be square. That way it can be placed anywhere. Save that image. And we now have our, our ad here, right? Perfect. Same thing, we're gonna configure it. 
choose the page. Uh, we're going to go Kathy on this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kathy, look at that. You won the lotto. Facebook lead generation form. Boom. Learn more. And then my destination URL, right? So instead of copying here, I'll just mm -hmm. hit choose landing page and then use this last one that I made here. So that way they get redirected to you know, this video about the zero plus loan program. But it has our own branding on it and all of our contact info, making it a little bit easier to uh, you know, get, get, get connected there. All right, so then custom audience, right? Let's go Los Angeles. Hey Blake, Anthony has a good question here, man. Let's hear it. First of all, what's up Anthony? Thanks for joining us again. He's a good dude. All right, when using special interests in ads manager, it narrows the target audience and in command, it shows an audience, does it show an audience size? That's really what it wants to know. On Facebook, it shows it. On command, does it? It does actually, yeah. So like, let's go Zillow. We're gonna select that one. I'm gonna do one more. Um, let's see, mortgage. Select some of these. So we, we choose what we want, right? So let's say mortgage calculator, Got it. mortgage loans. And then once we see it in this section here, right? The expert targeting we see the estimated audience size for each of those targeting points. Uh, I think Facebook maybe breaks down a little bit better, but you know, this is the, the analytics we have on this side. That's the best command has right now, which is not bad, so. Keeping it simple. Yep. <laughs> All right, so Facebook ad, good to go. And so we'll go down to duration and budget, you know, do the same kind of thing here. Uh, 10 days, ten uh, $30 total. Mm -hmm. we'll change that up, I do a little bit more money. Since it's just on Facebook, a little bit less options here, but that's okay. The $40, save it. We've got green check marks all the way up the side. We're good to go to just go and publish that campaign. Like it, like it. It's gonna spin. It's gonna do its thing for a little bit. Uh, and then- Thinking, thinking. Thinking, it, let's see, it might look like it's frozen here. There we go. Paid ads, and so now we'll see them both pending review. Uh, until we get that going. Usually takes about a day. But yeah, then once, that's about right. Once we have it running, right, we'll be able to see real-time analytics on everything. And then we'll get you know, lead notifications. Oh, this is my favorite part. I'm glad I can say this now. On our browser right here, right, on the bell, our Kelly app. But now they're also coming to you via email. So all of your leads are going to get instant notifications if you have that set up. I love that. They won't get lost. Exactly. Uh, so clutch. Uh, and so, yeah, that's, that's what I have for uh, the Keller mortgage one. Uh, definitely kind of come take a look at this. There's you know, six pages of you know, ad examples here. A, a lot of these were pulled from you know, ones that were successful. So it's kind of just a good insight. Uh, kind of get a sense for copy, the headlines, and really the purpose of the ads you're trying to run here. So take a look at that Google Drive folder. I'll you know, paste it again inside of the chat for you to take a look at. Let's uh, do that. And that's, that's what I got here. Uh, that's probably more than anything you take from the call that I think that resource uh, kind of provides a lot of Dude, insight. I think that's amazing, man. I, I think the resources that we give here, I don't think any other um, region does this. They definitely don't look as good. Well, you know what? I'm just going to talk good about us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're good. You're good. I'm, uh, I'm making the, uh, the, the most beautiful uh, resources in, in all of Keller Williams. Uh, I'm just going to say that's true. How's that? That's true. I don't know if it's true or not, but. That's okay. I'm just going to throw money at you. Here we go. I like it. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Oh, I love it, dude. I love it. All right. So, guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, Blake, <laughs> this is recorded, too. So, it's on our YouTube channel. Uh, let, me, let me post up the link. But, Blake, what are we going to talk about next time, dude? Let's see. you have any ideas kind of going on? Well, we kind of just throw things a week before, right? But exactly. although, although the last time we planned two weeks ahead, which was kind of cool. That was, um, that was a little bit, yeah. Yeah, that was challenging. Uh, yeah. So anybody, anybody have any suggestions as to what you want to hear? Let's see, something comes to mind, consumer app. I think it would be cool to like circle back on that. Yeah, since there's some changes. Definitely. Yeah, we just had a big update to it. Uh, I don't know if anybody has checked that out yet. I like that. So deeper into the consumer app? In the consumer app, exactly. 
We should do like a survey next time, you know, have people kind of submit what they want to see. I like that. I like that. All right. So we have a lot of people on. Just so you know, everyone, we're working on, so Blake and I are working on, <clears throat> on something separate that has to do with command. And that's uh, a place where you can go and learn all about command at your own pace. So from beginner to intermediate to teams to brokerage level. And we're going to be releasing that probably in the next 30 days. And there is going to be a cost for it because we're putting a lot of work into it. So, so expect that because we're going to have all of Blake's content that you see. We're going to have it outlined, easy to download, and anything else we create like smart plans and so forth. So watch out for that. The name we came up with was Command Set Go. So watch your emails. Uh, we thought it was a good name. We'll, we'll see if people like it or not. Yeah, so, okay, so we got some stuff here. Let's see. The app, so let's do that for sure. We're locking it in, yeah. Let's see if maybe we can talk about next. Let's see here. How to create a search specific for our clients. That we kind of did that already. App too. Yeah, we'll cover that next week. <clears throat> maybe send them a list of newly priced reduced properties. You know what? We can cover that next week on the app. And Blake, do you want to run maybe at the same time when we do the app, how to promote the app on Facebook and Instagram? Yes. You want to do that? Yeah. That would be sick. Let's do this. So let's do like an app overview. But then I think really the, the big thing is getting people to register for the app. So let's Damn, there you go. find some ways to push it out to as many people as possible. Dude. So I love that idea. So good. So good. I love <laughs> it. I love it. All right. You know, I love you, bro. I love you too, Tristan. This is a good little back and forth meeting. That's good. Know? All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us again. Go to the YouTube channel and we will have something amazing for you next week. Blake and I are meeting for a few hours on Friday. We're going to mastermind and let's see what we come up with. Uh, thanks, thanks so much everybody. Thanks, Blake. See you guys.